going on guys? Austin and Mikey with Fieldcraft Survival and we're here with Phil from Down to Mob. Uh, so we've been talking to Phil, hanging out with Phil and if you're not familiar with what he does, this dude is like all things Overland. So uh, uh, you know it's true man, don't play, don't play. Anyway, go check out his channel because it's a big personality right here, big personality. But anyway, uh, Phil we just kind of want to talk about Yeah, man. absolutely man, so welcome. Uh, it is true. But uh, so what we want to talk about is kind of like what you do. You're in it, all things Overland. So we want to talk about kind of the things that have made you successful with what you've been doing. Uh, especially like, I mean, you've been living this lifestyle, living out of your rigs for a long time. Uh, so we want to, I want to talk to you kind of about what's worked for you and like kind of what helps you be successful. Yeah, for sure. And, and I'm still sort of learning so much. Um, but I've been doing it for a couple years. And the whole goal I do it is to, number one, just live a fun life. Always mountain biking, kayaking, hanging out with good people. Um, but to relax too yeah. and just feel like yeah. I have the time to connect with people and you know have new relationships so what I've found is the more dialed in my rig is the more that I have communications um, the more that I have safety you know everything the more it accelerates all that yeah. so I'm yeah. more relaxed I get more done I go further and farther yeah. so well, there's, yeah. there's definitely that um, that um, but it's like that foundation of safety that gives you that calm, right? It's yeah. almost like that zen. You're like, I got it. Everything's here. So I'm self-reliant. I can do what I got to do. Yeah. Well, yeah. And we talk about like when you train and you gain confidence through that. Or right. When, and, and training doesn't have to be like a regimented schedule of like, I go to this class or I learned all this in the military or whatever your background is. Mm -hmm. But training and getting better is just living a life and having those experiences like you were saying. Because uh, when you go out and you do things and you like learn something new every time and then you get better and your capability grows and all that type of stuff so. yeah it's a beautiful thing and I mean some people might be watching being like that guy's down to mob I've seen him jumping sliding around <laughs> and it's true yeah. but that's because you know I've had fabricators and friends and people help me build this truck and I feel like I've built built it with the best components so I'm yeah. I feel comfortable doing yeah. that yeah well and it, it gives it a cool aspect because a lot of the angles that we take is from a uh, it almost comes across kind of serious and it's like well this is my overlanding bug out rig but this is a, yeah i mean you just live the life man you do it to have fun and it yeah. kind of gives it a more lighthearted approach yeah uh, in my opinion and and Thank i think you. that there's probably a lot more people out there like you than there are necessarily like me because i i see everything through that yeah. filter if you will so yeah. Uh, but let's check out your rig, man. You said yeah. you had a couple things in here. Yeah, for sure. And so lots of different components. I have tons of details of the rig on the yeah. channel. But as far as preparedness, survival type stuff, um, one thing that I noticed, obviously you guys have, yeah. and, um, one of my good buddies I was talking to, and he's like, you got to get a tourniquet, man. Yeah. So I've got a tourniquet just here in my door. Yeah. Um, driver's side door, tourniquet, go, yeah. get it. Anyone can get it, know where it is. Simple just first aid um i didn't stage this this does yeah, live here that's, because exactly. that's the best spot for it um airing down tools just to you know obviously air down the tires but yeah i really like having that stuff right there and, and the tourniquet i've never had to use it i, I hope i don't Thank ever God, have yeah. to but um yeah that's definitely one a little the, bit of added confidence yeah yeah and, and that's why we like in this reason because i would say that a lot of you guys that are watching this this is how you guys set up your stuff, right? This is how most guys roll, mm -hmm. and it's it's super it's, sim it's super simple. So, and that's just kind of how it is. But um, that's why we develop some of the products that we do, like our panel packs and uh, our bags and whatnot, just so that way you can have uh, a faster access to those tools. Mm -hmm. um, I just saw that. It was so yeah. cool to do yeah. the walkthrough of the Gladiator and yeah. see. Here's yeah. that, and it's done. And and mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily have to be just med equipment but your mm -hmm. I mean all your stuff like your air down tools and things that help you mm -hmm. uh, facilitate the lifestyle that you live you know yeah all goes into this yeah and if they live here and then they're in use and then they live here and those are their yeah. two modes right. you always know where they are right. and you're you're keeping your head straight simply yeah, and I'm simply. honestly I'm not very organized in a house when I have space <laughs> and all that but when I have the, the tight yeah. space I'm like Okay, we gotta figure yeah, this out. Totally. Well, and this <laughs> yeah. so this is one way, but you have like some sweet stuff in the yeah, back. Yeah, so this yeah. is just, I mean, these, man, these are so flexy, and that's, yeah. you know, yeah. it's okay. But what's really cool yeah. is the goose gear seat delete in yeah. the back. Oh, yeah. Um, and I actually usually have my air compressor down in there, but uh, we'll show you. I mean, you just pop that up and pop that panel out, and you got tons of storage down in there. Um, 
and it's really cool for recovery gear, uh, stuff that you don't need 24 seven and hopefully don't need that much. Um, but for example, if you did have some cases right here, you pull those out, put them down on the ground and grab your recovery gear quick. Yeah. And, uh, and you can secure it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's lockable, lockable yeah. storage. So I've got the full seat delete. So this is the 40% and then that's the 60 on the other side. So two separate lockable storages, Yeah. Um, you know, carrying weapons, things like that. Mm -hmm. Some states require you have, you know, ammunition separate, some, some stuff like that. So that can really come in handy. Yeah, well, what absolutely. I love about this is, you know, this is your tow rig essentially, right? You, you tow a trailer for, behind? For this event, this, this has event. been the tow rig. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, it's, it's fun in the past year, it's taken on so many different forms. In about a month, we're taking the bed off and we're doing a flatbed composite go. camper. That's awesome. And it'll be home. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So That's I'm awesome. really excited about, yeah. about that. And this is like one of the multiple uh, configurations that Goose Gear has. Oh um, yeah, this is like the start. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's the thing. So <laughs> Which uh, is cool. we, have, we just got ours put in a couple of days ago. We were just kind of showing you over here. Yeah, so this is, um, oh, I saw this back at camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. this is like the other version, or another version. Is this version. the V3? I think it I is. Say? Yeah. V2.3, I think. Okay, cool, like cool. That. And, uh, but yeah, so this is just like another Gosh. essentially version of kind of like what you've got, but it obviously is different in a, in a truck type style, which Gladiator has more of the, they have to use some, some more similar to how they use the trucks mm -hmm. versus the SUV style. Mm -hmm. So it's just expanding that capability is, is kind of sweet. It's super cool. The SUV, the goose gear on SUVs is like yeah. definitely the yeah. coolest um, show of, of this equipment, yeah. but on Tacomas and even, I just did a you know video on Brian's uh, F-350. Yeah. And they've got the drawers in the back as well. Yeah, they like um, maximize the space no matter what you got. Yeah, yeah really so is. having a seat delete and some drawers, mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing to just be able to pull out a drawer. Yeah, and, and have, have yeah. all organized. Just, there yeah, it is. and so there was feels like home a lot. Right. More. Yeah. That's what I'm all into. Yeah, and one thing you said earlier, kind of changing gears a little bit, is um, you were talking about the mindset of like mm -hmm. not only just doing it as a hobby, but because you do this, at, this is your day in day out life. But mm -hmm. um, one thing that was really cool that you said was talking about mindset. Talk talk about that again. So yeah, so a lot of people ask like. Are, are you nervous traveling solo? Um, I drove to the Dempster Highway with last year up to the Arctic with a, a crew and some help, but I mean, we were pretty much solo for a lot of, of the journey up there and things went wrong and mm. the right people were there almost immediately. And so anyways, there's lots of things that can happen, but my mindset um, has changed a lot. And the longer I get into it, you know, two, three, four weeks into full yeah. timing, I do things a lot slower. If I were to pack this up, for example, I would just be a little bit more methodical right. and slower rather than if I'm at an event like Absolutely. this. Yeah. And we're just like, let's go. Yeah. We're going to Chocolate Thunder, <laughs> slam yeah. it all together. Yeah. Um, well, that's, you're right on, man, because there's yeah. a huge difference between like expedition style travel, yeah. right? Even the lines you pick, then King of the Hammer is where we're yeah. like, we're banging freaking corners and doing what yeah. we gotta do to get around. Yeah, so, and you're so worried about, it. on those long trips, you're worried about like kind of preservation of yep. your rig, like, cause that's, I mean, that's home for you. Exactly. You know I mean? Like you can't just go out there and tear it up. So to that point, this event for me, um, you'll see in some of my videos, I mean, I'm pushing the truck hard. <laughs> and some people might think it's reckless and I honestly think it's smart because, so I, I tore the sway bar in like out, saw that out of the frame. <laughs> the Jeep frame is what yeah. actually failed. Well, we gotta fix that. That would have happened eventually. I, pr I made it happen quicker. So now we can fix it. We yeah. can do it. So to me, it's testing. It, yeah. it's, Absolutely. It, I'm not trying to d just say, oh, I'm trying to have fun, but no, it's really testing. No, it really is. And, yeah. and the brands that support this truck, I want to truly Show test them. their really? products. And, well, that's that's what yeah. we're even doing here with yeah. the race that Mikey's going to be doing. We're, we brought all of our A gear. race. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's racing tomorrow. tomorrow so. Oh yeah, Every you're day. doing the real race. Yeah. The real I thought race. you were talking about like a little grudge match thing. <laughs> oh, the Everyman Challenge? Yeah, yeah. See you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we can set that up. I think uh, that's a different video, but uh, but, but T and E and test and evaluate the equipment because we took Huge. all of our bags, uh, everything. We have it rigged out in the Sequoia so that way we can see because you put those, you, you stress test your equipment. You put it in the harshest environment, exactly. doing the toughest things to see where the, the failure points are. Right. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's how we did things in the military. 
And it's so cool to be able to see like, because our backgrounds are a lot different, but you're actually following suit with all thing. the things exactly. that I was training. That's you know? so crazy to yeah. me yeah. in a way, because I, I don't know, I always respect, I always went to the army surplus stores as a kid and mm. yeah. always respected that lifestyle, but I never thought I'd get close yeah. to it, to be yeah. honest. But, that, but, that's exactly, but yeah, yeah, there's a lot of crossovers. 100%. So much, man. And, so. Uh, but yeah, man, yeah. so we really appreciate you coming on. Uh, oh, of course. Might... I appreciate chatting with you. It's yeah. been really fun. I feel yeah. like I feel like we got some future trips in the yeah, world. Yeah, sure. yeah. You know, you know what my favorite episodes are? Huh. I love it when you cook with your mom. Oh, like, those, dude. Those are my, dude, I love it, bro. <laughs> I got to do another I'm just, I'm like, man, I got to watch this one again. She's yeah. so awesome. <laughs> she is. She's like the coolest person yeah. ever. She really is, I bro. wouldn't be half the person I feel like I, I know her like, already, but like, hey, yeah. what's up, mom? Yeah, no, we... Yeah. Yeah, we had so much fun and that was one of the things with um, being more, you know, have more restrictions on just life in yeah. general in yeah. 2020, getting out with the people you love more and, Dude, and that's, that's what, what these vehicles, yes. that's what these Thank vehicles, you. like I do rig walkthroughs and I love the products and all this, but it doesn't matter without right. the people that's, in them. That's what that's it's all about, bro. Yeah. 100%. So, yeah. Hopefully that gives you guys a little insight to... Uh, what Phil's been doing, what he's yeah. got going on. So uh, thank you, you man, you did so good. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> it's like you've done this before. <laughs> a couple times. We, we couple can start times. a YouTube yeah. channel. I know we can have a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys could get a few subscribers, maybe <laughs> one or two. <laughs> you just broke three hundred thousand, though. It's so cool. It's insane, man. You guys are putting in work, and yeah. you're providing content that's like truly valuable. And like I said, it could save people's lives. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm sure it has Hopefully. already. Hopefully, man. Yeah. That's definitely the hope. So. Yeah. Uh, we'll tune in guys to Phil's channel, check him out, uh, check out some sweet overland lifestyle stuff from him, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks guys.